Just look at those people. No screens on their mosquitoes annoying them. It's bad enough to be pestered like this during the day, but when night rolls around, an unscreened porch can really be dangerous. For that's when malaria-carrying mosquitoes are nearby, searching for their evening meal of human blood. Now, malaria is a serious health problem in the South, and to the affected individual, it means exhaustion and sickness that may make him an invalid for life. Rundown homes with primitive household facilities. And unprotected children like these are the result, unless proper health information on malaria is handed down to everyone. Here is how the civic group at Sumter, South Carolina tackled the problem. First, a local school teacher was selected to attend training classes at Memphis, Tennessee where a two-week course on the essential facts about the control of malaria and eliminate the mosquito was conducted by local, state, and federal public health officials. Of course, the community leaders who attended these classes couldn't expect to learn as much as their instructors in such short time. But when they were ready to return home, they did have a sound knowledge of what they were expected to teach others. Back at Sumter, our health educator started out on her new job to pass on information to the local health department staff, as well as to all institutions in the community, civic clubs, and hospitals, rich or poor, regardless of race or color, the educator spread the message around. Training films were shown as the one viewed by this Grange group of how public health workers destroyed the breeding places of mosquitoes by larviciding. This is a necessary operation, but an expensive one to the taxpayer. However, it can be reduced if everyone takes personal control measures against malaria. Information on the disease was also passed on to the Parents Teachers Association in order to determine how it should be introduced in the science classes of the public schools. Science teachers were given special detailed instruction on malaria control so that they would be prepared to teach the subject properly. They also arranged field trips for their students to nearby malaria-infested swamps where local health officials demonstrated the effectiveness of Paris green dusting. And oil spraying. Mobile public libraries carried literature to rural areas where malaria control was most essential. Also, the science sections of all public libraries had excellent material on hand. The use of poster and window displays helped to keep the people of the community up to date on all new information. Clubs were formed by those people who lived on farms and didn't have the opportunity to get into town often. The members of these clubs assembled periodically to listen to new methods of combating the old problem of malaria. No group was too small to receive the important information of the reasons why people got malaria and how to avoid it. At the county health center, the layman was given final precautions on how to safeguard his home, his family, and himself. When the health educator was certain everyone had sufficient information on malaria control, she briefly summarized these main points. Put up window screens to keep out the mosquitoes. Be sure and place patches over all the holes in the screens. See that all screen doors are kept closed. And as an added precaution, it is wise to place a net over the baby's crib. If there are cracks in the floor, seal them. See your doctor if you live in malaria-infested areas and suspect that you have caught the disease. Your doctor will test your blood, and if you do have malaria, he will give you immediate treatment for it. 
Spraying oil on the water surfaces of your private fishing ponds will kill the larvae in their breeding places. Or by sprinkling dusting powder of Paris green, as this woman is doing. And now that you've screened in that front porch, you can really relax without fear of catching malaria. <laughs> <laughs>